the Joe Gibbs Racing Facility in North Carolina, we're doing a forensic breakdown of the perfect pit stop. We've recruited one of NASCAR's best teams, the pit crew for number 18, Kyle Busch, who pulled off an amazing stop of 12.12 seconds. And now to see just how difficult it is to get a car back on the track the way these guys do it, legendary pit chief Jeff Hammond is coming out of retirement to change some tires. I don't know whether to throw up or run hide behind this wall because I don't know what's gonna happen. the 13 second target. And now every additional split second means the car is falling behind the rest of the field. <laughs> 23 seconds. It's going through your mind. Honestly? Yeah. I'm pissed off. <laughs> Why are you pissed off? Because I, you don't understand how much fun it is to do this and to get an opportunity to kind of like go back to where it all began for right. me. Right. To work with a great group of guys like this. You just, you wanna, you just kinda like you don't wanna let them down. 23 seconds to change tires would have been good 20 years ago when pit crews averaged about 30 seconds. But by today's standards, Jeff would lose his job on the air wrench. And that's the reason why I do television. <laughs> and that's the reason why they change tires. Tire changers have to be fast, but they also have to be extremely precise. But how do errors in precision really affect the outcome of a race? Our motion tracking technology takes us inside the science of this high octane pressure cooker. Tire changers are trained to hit all five lug nuts in one to 1.2 seconds, no faster. That's because, after changing thousands of tires, their brains have developed metronomic precision. Any change to this timing will begin to affect their accuracy. People say, well, why wouldn't you want them to hit it in nine tenths of a second? We find that when you go too fast, you're more likely to miss, and there's a tempo to hitting these lug nuts. If tire changers can accurately hit their lug nuts in one to 1.2 seconds, they'll give their drivers an edge by getting them back onto the track before their competition. But when a tire changer tries to remove their lug nuts too fast, his accuracy will decrease. If we relate this to a golf swing, if we try to hit the ball as hard as we can, more than likely our accuracy is gonna be poor. And accuracy is key, because missing a lug nut by only one millimeter could add at least an extra three-tenths of a second. On the track, a car going 200 miles per hour covers nearly 300 feet a second. The length of a football field. That's right. This bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic chews up an entire football field every second. So missing just one lug nut, adding an extra three-tenths of a second, costs a car about 90 feet. Miss one in every pit stop, and over the course of the race, you've lost a third of a mile to the rest of the field. The difference between a driver finishing first and 21st. But what's really amazing about all these numbers is that as each pit crew fights for every second, the energy that they use over the course of a race is mind-boggling. If you add up all the joules of energy used by one pit crew during a race, it'd be enough to jack up their car 58 feet in the air. Add up the energy from all the pit crews over the course of a single race, 
you could jack up that same car almost a half a mile. So next time you watch a race, keep your eyes on pit row, because it's this race within the race that determines who sees that checkered flag first.